now let's continue our talk on the cases of the tangential method now we are going to discuss the case number 3 of tangential method in which one angle is angle of elevation and other angle is angle of depression considering the same cross section but in this case you can see that the cross section is more or less flat there are two points on the ground as a and b at one point the staff is being placed at another point the instrument is being placed the distance between them is required let's say that this is the axis of instrument the first angle is taken as the angle of elevation and the other angle is taken as angle of depression let's consider angle of elevation as theta 1 and angle of depression as theta 2 and let's say that the difference of the staff readings taken at theta 1 and theta 2 is s the V is the vertical distance taken from the axis of instrument to the point where the staff reading is taken at theta 2 and the remaining distance would be then the difference of S and V. So now in order to calculate the horizontal distance we are going to consider this right angle triangle. In this right angle triangle we can see that the angle is theta 1, the base is D and the perpendicular is the difference of S and V. So considering this right angle triangle, we have perpendicular and base taking a trigonometric ratio that contains perpendicular and base which is 10 theta. So 10 theta 1 would be equal to S minus V over D. So by cross multiplying then we will have the equation for the D. Here you can see that again there are three variables are there but uh, the V is the only variable that cannot be determined on the field. So in order to calculate the V distance, we are going to consider another right angle triangle, which is this one. In this right angle triangle, we can see the angle is theta 2, the perpendicular is V and the base would be D. So considering this right angle triangle and taking again 10 theta, we will have then 10 theta 2 is equal to V over D by cross multiplying. V would be equal to D 10 theta 2. So placing the value of V in the equation of D, then we will have the formula for the D as simplifying further we will have then the final equation for the distance D. Putting the value of D in the equation of V we can have the equation for the V. In both the equations of D and V we can see that there are three variables are there staff intersect theta 1 and theta 2 and all those variables can be noted on field and sometimes we are asked calculate the reduced level at the different points let's say in this case we are being asked to calculate the reduced level at point B so a point of known reduced level should be given let's say that is benchmark placing the staff intercept there taking the backside reading there so then the reduced level of point B would be the reduced level of the benchmark plus backside reading you will have the reduced level of the axis of instrument the axis of instrument is higher than point B. So in order to move down, we need to subtract the distances, the V and H. Then we will have the final equation for the reduced level of point B. So this is all from this video that contains the discussion of case number 3 of the tangential method of spectrometric survey. I believe you have now got the concept how we can determine the horizontal and vertical distance at different T lengths using tangential method and also we have completed one series of stedia method as well thank you for watching this video